everyone, it's Jenny here with Good For You Gluten Free. Um, if you can't hear me, let me know because I have my microphone today, I remembered. But I am back at California Pizza Kitchen and I am doing a NEMA Sensor sponsored Facebook Live to test their gluten free pizza for gluten. And I want to get into a bunch of stuff, but let's start this test because it takes about three minutes. This is a NEMA sensor. This is a NEMA sensor capsule. I've already put a little piece of the pizza. So you can see I took it from the edge where like pizza cutters would have went through and I've kind of rubbed it on the cheese a little bit. And I put a little piece in here. And now I'm going to close and seal this. I'm going to break this green seal. And voila. So then I'm gonna put the test capsule inside my NEMA sensor and I'm gonna push start and I love it. There's a new science is testing for gluten. Isn't that awesome? So while this tests for gluten, I wanna tell you a couple of things. The first thing is that I got here at California Pizza Kitchen and I found out that they no longer have a gluten-free crust. They only have the cauliflower crust, which is gluten-free. So they're no longer making the certified gluten-free pizza crust on the rice flour, which was dairy-free. So if you're dairy-free, you won't be able to have the pizza crust anymore. But you can have the cauliflower crust, which they said is gluten-free. I was here, was it like four months ago, five months ago, and I did a Facebook Live here and the cauliflower crust pizza that they gave me came back with gluten found. And it was really upsetting. The server thinks that they accidentally made my pizza. Um, even though the cauliflower crust is gluten free, she thinks they made my pizza in the regular area and then served it to me. But I let Nima take the first bite and Nima said don't eat that. So I didn't eat it, I sent it back. But after that Facebook Live and it got tons of shares and on Facebook and on Instagram, uh, California Pizza Kitchen contacted me and they were really upset because that's not their mode of operation. They have certified gluten-free uh, menu and pizzas here and um, there was definitely something that went wrong in the process of me getting my pizza and it was really upsetting. So she said, you know, I hope you come back another time and do another test. And so I'm here and I'm doing another test. And they don't know that I'm doing the test. Well, the waitress that I just talked to knows I'm doing a test. But I didn't tell anyone that I was coming here because I prefer to do the test without them knowing. I do have one concern. Last time I was here, the certified gluten-free pizza had a toothpick in it. And it had a toothpick that said gluten-free. And this pizza didn't come with a toothpick. So I'm definitely letting Nima take the first bite again because I'm a little nervous. And I just want to know for sure that this pizza is safe and was prepared in the certified gluten-free separate area that they have here to prepare pizza <laughs> at California Pizza Kitchen. The other thing I want to tell you while my NEMA sensor, let me check it. Oh yeah, it's still going. I just needed to double check it. The other thing I want to tell you is that if you were on, uh, if you saw my Black Friday post um, where I was at Payway, which was awesome, like everything I tested at Payway and their expanded gluten-free menu came back gluten-free, so go to Payway. But if you saw that, I talked about NEMA's Black Friday special. And it was an awesome one because I was able to tell people how to get a NEMA sensor for $174. And so I got an email this week from NEMA and they told me that it's they've extended the Black Friday sale this week only. And it goes through Saturday, tomorrow. So um, I couldn't get on earlier to tell you that um, in Facebook Live because I haven't been feeling well this week. But I'm finally feeling better and I want to let you know you have today and you have tomorrow to get the NEMA sensor for $174. But let me tell you how because you're going to go over to NEMA sensor and you're going to see the holiday bundle and it's going to say $199. And then you're going to use my affiliate coupon code which is good for you GF. Good for you GF. Spell it out and that'll get you another $25 off. And I've listed that coupon code and a link in the post so you can see that and um, go ahead and get that. And I, I personally don't know anyone who is serious about being gluten-free or who has celiac disease that wouldn't want this under the Christmas tree. I know I, if I didn't have one, I would have been begging for this for um, my holiday present this year. And so you can still order it in time to get it in time for Christmas. And if you order it by Saturday, tomorrow, I just told you how you can get it for $174. And that's not only the starter kit, but you're also going to get some of the extra holiday perks that they have thrown in. So here at CPK, I want to tell you a couple more things. 
So here, go down here, hon. Um, this is, we also got a salad because I want you to know that I have eaten so much junk <laughs> during the holiday season here that um, I'm ready to get a salad. So we are gonna enjoy a salad and a little pizza. Um, but the salad is not certified gluten-free, but I did tell her that um, I had celiac and I asked them to change gloves. So um, I'm hoping that they, you know, there's obviously no gluten ingredients in here, but um, CPK is really, really good about taking care of the celiac community. And it was really unfortunate that my last test came back with gluten found. It's actually really unfortunate that they discontinued the gluten-free crust. But um, the cauliflower crust, I promise you, is really delicious. I have had it before, but it's, um, it's really your only option and it contains dairy, so if you can't do dairy, no good. All right, let's follow this because it's about to reveal and let's find out together. Can you see this? Do you want me to move it? There's sometimes a little glare. I try to take pictures and there's always a glare. It's always like a half crooked smiley face or whatever, but it's gonna either show me a smiley face or it's gonna show me a gluten found symbol. Shoot, it has a gluten found symbol. So I, um, I'm wondering, I wonder if we can keep rolling. I kind of would like to talk to my waitress. Actually, just don't put the waitress on Facebook Live. But let me see if I can call her over and you guys can see how I handle it. Let me see if I can grab her. Oh, she's not here. Let's, let's, uh, let's stay on because I think you guys would really appreciate seeing this. Um, I am concerned that there's gluten found in this maybe they prepared it in the same area again not in the certified gluten-free area it doesn't have a toothpick so i'm gonna ask her do you see her i'm gonna wave her down she's, okay someone's coming i don't think it's my waitress but it's someone is that is my waitress or are you the manager um yeah i'm just my pizza had gluten in it again okay um but it didn't have a toothpick shouldn't it have a toothpick in it I'll get an answer. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Just keep it on me and the pizza and not on um, the manager because I want to respect their privacy. Um, but we are going to get a manager because I know when CPK called me, they actually physically called me on the phone, a phone conversation. Um, and they said this was not supposed to happen. Like this pizza should have been prepared in the certified gluten-free area. Hi. 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 Sorry, I'm actually doing a Facebook Live. Okay. Um, I was here a few months ago. You might remember me. And I tested your cauliflower pizza for gluten. And unfortunately, it found gluten in this. But I was noticing there was no toothpick. Isn't there usually a toothpick? Yeah, in it? usually there are. So does this mean my waitress didn't put it in the gluten? No, no, no. Free? We don't use the, the gluten on only the gig certified. Once you use something outside of our recipe. But this is certified. She said this is what it said on the menu. No, certified. I know, but once you add other items to it, it, it doesn't become gig oh, certified. Oh, I didn't. T I tested right here. So when uh, you order the gig certified, they'll have a circle say like the barbecue, the mushroom pepperoni. Those items okay. are gluten free. So most likely than not, they're coming from there. I don't. I still tomato. don't quite understand because you're saying I got tomato. I ordered tomato yeah. on it, so they didn't cook yeah, it in the certified gluten-free area. No, no, no. What, no. It's it's a different process entirely to be gig certified. So, like, we can remake it for you. Yeah. Do we want to do that? I absolutely need this to be gluten-free. I wish someone would have told me. I just said, okay. oh yeah, she because we asked for you know can we put tomatoes on it. She said yeah, but nobody advised me that that would make it no longer certified gluten-free. Okay. Did you ask about gig certification? I told her I was celiac disease. Celiac I told okay. her I've, I'm testing it with my NEMA okay. sensor, I'll and I even I'm asked to change you. gloves and everything uh -huh. when I ordered. Okay, so I'll it's a little upsetting because, um, and I actually had talked to your marketing person in uh -huh. corporate, and because and I had a, a similar thing happen a few okay. months ago, and she she assured me like that was not your mode of operation here. Okay. So. Okay, I'll, I'll remake it for you. Okay, I appreciate it. No I'm gonna, I, I'd ask for some new silverware too because that obviously touched it. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I think so, thank you so much. All right, guys, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> so I thought you guys would like to see how I have a conversation and how I approach it. Um, sometimes it's not pretty. I have to be a little firm with the restaurant because that is upsetting that all of a sudden it's no longer certified gluten-free because we got tomatoes on it or I'm not even quite understanding what happened. But um, 
I just wanted you to see how I approached it. So I did get to speak with the manager and we'll see. I'm gonna test my next pizza, obviously. I'm not putting that in my mouth without testing it. I will post the results in the comment section, but I would love to hear from you. And if you have anything to say, please uh, let me know. I don't wanna bash California Pizza Kitchen, they do certified gluten-free, but this just showed us the importance of testing everything. So even if I came here and it tested good one time, I should come back and test it again, especially pizza and waffles and bread products. You should always test them every single visit, okay? All right, go get a NEMA sensor. I just showed you how to get them for $174, and I think I just showed you why you need one of these. All right, take care. Bye.